please watch this video from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the tips that I'm gonna give you. Hello guys, this is su amigo Alex, your friend Alex, and today I'm gonna try to move, I'm gonna try to transfer my WhatsApp chat history from an Android device to an iPhone. On my left, I have a Samsung Galaxy A52, and on my right, I have an iPhone 14. So how can we do that? First, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna transfer. Only when we see all this chat on the iPhone, we're gonna consider this transfer successful. We have a lot of chats here, but this one is the one that has the most. I have all kind of stuff. I have uh, contacts, photos, I have videos. Let me play this video. All right. I have PDF, Excel files, Word document, zip files, all kind of files, guys. Memojis, emojis. And then on the other ones, I just have little conversations, you know? Okay, so let's do a backup here. We're gonna click here, settings. You're gonna go to chats and chat backup. You see Google account, it says non-selected. Frequency, you can click only when I tap backup, that's good. And I'm gonna include videos and that's it. Once you have it like this, I'm gonna click backup. Select a Google account to continue. Okay, so I'm gonna put uh, Swamigo Alex 2, all right? Swamigo Alex 2, and I'm gonna click backup. Looks like it says last backup, never. So I only have 49 megabytes. I'm sure you're gonna have gigs of data. So we are at 3%, 4%. So this is gonna take a while, I'll be back. All right, 97, so almost done, guys. You have to be patient. 100%, okay, we are done. Now I'm gonna open an app called Mobile Trans. I have the same app downloaded on my iPhone. We're gonna click here, WhatsApp transfer, and then it's gonna be Android to iPhone. Okay, here just saying for me to download it on the Android, so that's good. Now here is asking me to confirm the number. So I have the number here, also my SIM card is here, so it should be confirmed pretty fast. 305-954-7240, okay. Then I'm gonna click next. Next. Please confirm, okay. And that's it, guys. This is the confirmation code. So I have to see it right here, guys. 376224. 376224. And it's loading. And look at that, it's converting, parsing WhatsApp backup. And here, I select everything. But let's say you don't want the videos, you can unselect the videos, okay? Here are the videos. So 10 videos, 10 files, emojis, audios, photos, and text. Now you're gonna click next. They give you two options, with USB cable or no USB cable. I'm gonna use a USB cable. In my case, I'm gonna use a USB-C to lighting cable. But if you have an iPhone 15 or 16, you're gonna need USB-C to USB-C, okay? So connect the Android first, and then connect the iPhone. Okay, and then it says choose an app for the USB device. I'm gonna choose this one, Mobile Trans. Choose what to do, Mobile Trans, always. I said all features unlock. You're gonna go back, you're gonna click next. With USB cable. Trust this computer, you're gonna click trust. Connection succeeded. It says download and log in your WhatsApp account on iPhone. I need to download WhatsApp on my iPhone. So basically, I'm downloading WhatsApp on the iPhone. It says to make sure that the iPhone is fully charged and you can turn down the brightness to save battery. Also, it says any existing WhatsApp data on the iPhone will be erased, but I don't have any data on the iPhone because I am downloading WhatsApp for the first time. Download and log in your WhatsApp account on iPhone. So I guess I'm gonna have to log in with this WhatsApp, right? With this one. Oh, look at this, you have been logged out. Okay, so the app already logged me out. I'm gonna open WhatsApp, and they say that I need to put the same, I'm gonna put allowed, 
The same number I use here, I need to put it here. I think it's 305-954-7240. And then I'm gonna click next. Is this the correct number? Yes. Probably I'm gonna get a text here. Okay, this is the problem. It says verify your phone number. Use your other phone to confirm moving WhatsApp to this one. Enter the six digit code we sent to WhatsApp on your Samsung Galaxy. But I'm not logging into WhatsApp anymore. So I'm gonna have to click need help getting a code. And here, what I'm gonna do is the voice call. The voice call is only gonna take four minutes. So I'm gonna wait for that and I'm gonna make WhatsApp give me a call, all right? I'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna try a voice call. This Android is gonna ring because the SIM card is here, all right? Click that one and then continue. That's the call, guys. Pick it up, that's Meta. And that's it, okay? Now look at this, it says restore from iCloud. Restore from iCloud, but there's no backup found, okay? So I'm just gonna skip, just gonna skip it. Uh, allowed, share, and I'm gonna put Alex. I'm gonna click not now, and that's it. So I'm just gonna click start transfer. Please confirm whether WhatsApp is installed on the iPhone and log in. Yes, it is. I'm gonna click confirm. Please follow the steps below to turn off Find My iPhone, okay? So let's go here. This is my account, Find Mine. It's on right now, so we're gonna turn it off, okay? It's gonna ask me for my password. Done, and that's it. And turn it off, Find Mine, okay? And that's it, turn off. It says transfer data. Restoring progress. I'm still connected with the cable, all right? It says transfer succeed. If the following page appears on the iPhone, please tap skip restore. The iPhone is restarting and hopefully all my WhatsApp chats are gonna be transferred to the new iPhone. Look at this. And I'm gonna open WhatsApp. And that's it. All my stuff, guys, is here. And I think this is the chat that have all the stuff that I show you, right? Remember, I show you all the stuff on the Android? Contacts, photos, videos. PDF files, Excel, Word documents, emojis, memojis, audio files. Everything got transferred. So it was successful, guys. So the first thing I will do is I will go to chats, chat backup, and I will do a backup on my iPhone. Auto backup, daily, include videos, and back it up now. By doing this, I will have my backup on the iPhone, and I already have a backup on the Android, on Google Drive, and on iCloud. So I can use any device right now. So that's it guys, that's how you use Mobile Trans app to successfully transfer all your chats from your Android to your iPhone. And now what happens if I want to log in to WhatsApp here? I'm not gonna be able to because I'm already logged out. I'm already logged in on WhatsApp iPhone. This iPhone use an eSIM. So if you want to move your SIM card, your number from the Android to the iPhone, you will have to contact your carrier. They usually send you a QR code that you can scan with the iPhone. And that's how you're gonna move your number, all right? If you have any questions, guys, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Su Amigo Alex, and thank you to Wondershare for allowing me to use this app to explain you guys how to do this transfer. The app is called Mobile Trans, and you can download it on the Google Play Store or the App Store. All right, guys? Thank you so much, guys. I see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.